Well, this this is an important day, and I appreciate everybody being here from all those little places that you spoke of all over South Carolina. We, I, I have to say that I'm so proud of the people of South Carolina, proud of what we're doing in our state, proud of how far we've come in over 300 years, as you know, and, and we've been through it all, ups and downs, and I really do believe that this is our time. I think the stars have lined up, as they say. I know that the, the eyes of the country, the eyes of the world, in many respects, are on South Carolina. I see in economic terms, businesses, everybody wants to come to South Carolina, and there's a reason. There's a reason, and the main one is it's, it's not the port, it's not the technical colleges, it's not the research universities, it's not all those things, the mountains, the rivers. It's the people of South Carolina. When I talk to people from other countries especially, they say the people of South Carolina are different. And I believe we are. And this, what we're expressing today, is one manifestation of that difference. I like to look at things in perspective. And you look at how things throughout history, I try to learn as much, and I think I forget more than I learn, but still in history you can see there have been great changes, great movements that have taken time. And that when it's all over and people look back, they say, how did those people ever believe any other way that they believe? And that applies to a lot of things like, like voting, like the ownership of other people, like the divine right of kings and queens, and those kind of things that we look at today and wonder, how was it ever otherwise than how we see the light today? Well, I think that this is one area of human life that at some point in our future, it won't be tomorrow, but it's coming. There will be a day when everyone will understand clearly that the right to life is the most important right that is. That life begins at conception. It is a God-given right, and we must do all we can to protect it. Uh, Those, a lot of those realizations throughout history, and they've been countless all over other countries, not just here. And these were smart people, the smartest, the most educated, the most talented. All were, on many things, were dead wrong, sometimes for centuries after centuries. So I am confident. And I see people here that I remember from, from years ago had been laboring in this venue. And my hat's off to them. But remember this, you cannot beat a man or a woman who won't quit. You can't beat someone who won't quit. So I urge you, don't quit. We're doing the right thing. It's a, it's a marvelous cause. And I'm looking forward to the day where we can look back and say that the people of South Carolina were in the vanguard of leadership in changing this notion in the United States and in the world about the right to life. Thank you very much.